Hey scholars, Mrs. Norris here. So I want to um, give you an overview of this activity that we are doing called interview a non-native. Um, so the whole point of this is to give you an inside look of what it's like to be a non-native in a country different from your home country so that you have a better idea of what it was like for the people who migrated west during um, the time that we're gonna be studying in unit number four, the 1800s. So what I want you to know um, is, I want you to be able to understand these questions. What encourages a person to emigrate from a new area? And there's two terms here, emigrate and immigrate. So you emigrate from your home country. So you're leaving your home country while you immigrate to another, okay? So emigrate is the action of leaving the home country Immigrate is the action of coming in. Just think of that word in for immigrate. <laughs> and then the other question we'll be answering with this activity is what might you gain and lose by moving from your home? So I want you to understand that this time period that we're talking about, um, this westward movement time period, this was a period of dramatic urbanization as immigrants flocked to the cities drawn by the pull factors of economic opportunity and push factors in home countries that affected the flow of immigrants to the United States. So you should have already um, learned a little bit about what pull factors are versus push factors. And hopefully with this activity, it will personalize those terms for you a little bit more, make them a little bit more um, personable because it's somebody that you know that can explain them to you in, in their own way. So what you're going to be doing is to better understand how common days push and pull factors influence migration in today's society, society, interview someone who is not native to the United States and reflect on what you have learned about immigration in a personal level. So um, this is something that's going to be done outside of class. That's why your due date is a little bit longer than normal. It's not due in the next couple of days. You actually have a week to get this finished with a, um, a weekend in between so that if you have time on the weekend, it's something you can get finished then. And then again, obviously, there's the two-week buffer um, for late work where you don't lose any points if you have a little bit of trouble um, getting in contact with uh, the person that you can interview. So I'm going to go over the directions first and then show you the um, document itself. So you're going to make a copy of the file, which I've already done, and I'm going to show you in just a second. And then you're going to interview a person, a family member, a friend, a neighbor who was born in another country but now lives in the United States. Record their responses on the document, and then when you're done, download the interview, excuse me, as a PDF and upload it to Canvas for grading. So um, I've already made a copy of the document and instead of copy two it now says my stepson or my example first and last name so if you haven't done that piece yet please just do that piece and then return to this tutorial all right so now let's look at the directions that are on the interview itself it says interview a person family member friend or neighbor who was born in another country but now lives in the united states it can be anywhere in another country it could be europe it could be mexico it could be um canada because that's not the united states it could be anywhere outside of the united states but now they live in america and then record the responses on this document. Uh, my best suggestion to you is that when you're talking to them, maybe write your answers down first and then come back and type them into the document. It might make it a little bit easier for you. Now, what I want you to understand is they don't have to live in Long Beach. If there's somebody that you can call that maybe lives in another city in California or another state in the US, you can do that as well and interview them over the phone. So again, it doesn't have to be anyone who lives in Long Beach. They can live outside of Long Beach as long as they still live in the United States and came from another country. 
Okay, so we have our list of questions here. I'm not going to go through every one, but I do suggest that you pause this tutorial and read them to yourself before you start to interview the person. The questions um, are asking them things like, what, what is your home country? How old were you when you moved here? What was traveling here like for your family? What languages do you speak? Those sorts of things. Um, it doesn't have to be done in one sitting. So if you want to talk to them um, a couple of times, then I I suggest that you do that as well. But we have our questions here. And then at the end is a reflection. So what are your biggest takeaways from your interview? What did you learn from the person you interviewed? Do you have any aha moments? So um, I want you to pick three details from the interview that were sort of like your aha moments. And you can, these are example describing words. These aren't words that you have to use, but some example, um, describing words or adjectives would be the most um, one detail from the interview that I found interesting one detail I found fascinating heartbreaking inspiring significant moving angering uncomfortable try to use three different words in your reflection one for each sentence below so if you say one detail from the interview that I found interesting then don't use that word again for number two, another detail from the interview that I found heartbreaking, then don't do, use either one of those again. And then finally, a detail from the interview that I found moving. Okay. So again, try to use three different adjectives and they don't have to be the adjectives that I gave you, but if you need some ideas of adjectives to help you get started, that's what those are there for. Okay. So for each detail, you're going to tell me what adjective you could use to describe it. So one detail I found from the interview, I'm sorry, one detail from the interview that I found heartbreaking was when I was told he had to leave his dog behind. Okay, I thought this was heartbreaking because I would feel really sad if I had to leave my dog behind as well. Okay, so again, you're telling me um, a detail. You're giving me an adjective for how that detail made you feel. You're telling me what that detail was and you're telling me why that detail made you feel that way. Okay. So again, just three standouts, three moments from that interview, um, for your reflection. All right. And then once you are done again, make sure that you thank the person for their time. Um, it takes a lot to have to rem remember these things and sometimes it's challenging or heartbreaking for people. So make sure that you thank them for, for their time. Okay. Make sure you've got your name on your document, and then you'll go to file, um, <clears throat> download, PDF. You'll download your document as a PDF and then upload it to Canvas for grading. 